What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions. And today I wanna to talk to you real quick about something that for some reason I'm having issue with a lot of people that are calling in and they're wanting to have conversations with people that they are suing. Now, one of the things I talked about constantly was the fact that it's not a level playing field. You have to understand the way the game is being played because that's exactly what this is. This is a game. They are playing chess and you're playing checkers because in most instances, people are trying to tell their side of the story. And I can say it until I'm blue in the face. I've watched it. I've, hell, I've even lived it. No one cares about your side. Stop. And having these conversations, and generally, I'll say predominantly, most of them are not recorded conversations. They're not scheduled conversations. And in the end, it can be construed to be something that it's not. But this is also something that I found that a lot of people are experiencing because if it's not written, it does not exist. And when you file paperwork to sue someone in court, to place to have a conversation with them is in court through paperwork. No more vocal conversations unless it is scheduled, it is recorded, and it is in a controlled environment. Because what I want to talk about real quick is 18 USC one five one two and that is called tampering with a witness when you are having idle conversations with someone that you are suing it can be construed as a form of intimidation and now i'm going to read this because it goes into it makes it a federal crime or offense for someone to use intimidation or physical force to threaten another person with intent to influence the testimony of a witness within any court proceeding. The key words in this one is threatened to influence the testimony of a witness. When you're trying to convince somebody of your side, you're attempting to influence them to see things your way and nobody cares. What's the infraction? Who committed the infraction? What are you looking for from that infraction? That is it. No one cares about, oh, he twisted my arm and I was I had to go to the hospital, I received, no. I was assaulted while in the custody of officer blah, 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 and this is what the result was. Here's my hospital bills. What I am looking for as remedy is this. These are the things that make your 50 page complaints six seven pages because you're describing an event you're talking about the infraction you're looking for the remedy placed from that offense that is it you are not having conversations with the other side unless you schedule it unless it's done through motion unless there is a third party or a mediator there present that is recording it because it can be turned into a federal crime against you. Stop calling these people. Stop talking to these people. You go out, you make records of everything that you're doing. You send out things certified mail because they have to sign for them. That is your evidence that they received it. Then you have your clocks. You stay on your grind. You do not pick up the phone. You do not send out random ass emails you don't do any of this other extra stuff because it does not help you that's what i have for today i appreciate everybody that's been donating keep him coming in robin of course gotta love her and i've got a couple more but i'm gonna name them in other videos i can't name all the sponsors in one video but apple pay 
Venmo, Google Wallet, and you know, Cash App. Holla at your boy. I'll see you next time.